Uh, good morning everyone, uh, Hillman Minx 1955-1390, uh, engine rebuild, which is done and completed, in fact it was done and completed some time ago, I just haven't got around to putting it back in the, back in the car yet. But uh, that's it there, um, just to go through it for you. Um, I like to keep things as original as possible if I can. Um, I've gone back to the original oil filter. It did have the screw on upgraded, or I suppose the upgraded screw on type filter, but I, yeah, when I bought the car, I had a few spares with it and that was in there. So I've decided to put that back on. Uh, fuel pump has been overhauled, new diaphragms, valves, and obviously cleaned. Um, I've done a, a bit of bling, these bits here this and the brass parts uh, i've cleaned them all quite thing on the on the wire brush and and i've um lacquered them so in theory they should actually stay exactly as they are and things like that. I've, I've done what they call a a soft rebuild i call it as in it's not been reground or reboard i just simply uh put new pistons in uh all new showers seals gaskets overall the cylinder head recut the valve seats skimmed etc etc uh, and put it all back together um, it's all fairly standard uh, except for I do have electronic ignition in there as my only uh, not sure what the word is the only deviate from the original um, the original coil which probably would benefit from a more upgrade sports coil but a stronger one but again I like to keep them with the screwing caps and things like that for you wall pump was absolutely fine uh, dynamo I've overhauled new bearings bushes etc uh, this little thing here, I think it's quite a common fault on these to break, and mine was broken. And I've managed to repair this quite nicely, I think. You can see there little rivets running along there. That's because there's an aluminium sheet underneath that supporting it, which I've then obviously drilled, riveted. Uh, and this was actually broken on that part there. As you can see, I've used a bit of uh, garden wire and taped it together to hold it all. Because there was nothing really there for me to, to get hold of as far as that's concerned. All done and dusted and I have actually had it running on, on this bench uh, so I wired it up to a battery uh, the fuel directly to uh, just a little um, five 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 litre tank uh, pulled a bit of fuel down the carb turned it over a couple of times uh, using a pair of jump leads coughed and splattered a little bit uh, tried it again and then away it went and I've actually had it running uh, for a couple of minutes just to um, I just wanted to check the ignition time and that's why before I put it all in and the reason for that is you may or may not be aware if you don't get it right when you put the oil pump in you'll never get it right up here because you can't just remove uh, the distributor twist it around and then slot it back in as an offset uh, key um, and, then, and then on some cars uh, if you're still wrong that offset key will actually come out because it's obviously driven by the camshaft but on here you cannot so if you're wrong the only way to get that right is to drop the sump <laughs> disconnect the oil pump, twist the oil pump around slightly and then put it back in again, which is obviously a real pain when it's on the bench, uh, but it would be even worse if I got it in the car and to find it wasn't right. I was pretty sure I was okay with it because I would sent the punch everything before I remove, uh, just to make 100% sure and then double check obviously when I put it all back together. Uh, I have put another video on uh, regarding the, the camshaft timing on it. It's always quite interesting. It was a common fault because people tend to get it 180 degrees out uh, just simply assuming because the two dots that line up on the cam on the cam and the crank underneath the timing chain is lined up for number one cylinder was in fact it's lined up for number four cylinder um, but you may or may not know that and I'm sure some people have come on stuck with that as far as that's concerned uh, try to keep everything original I have replaced a few nuts and bolts things there but as a rule I tend to obviously 99% of it will be original and I also like to keep um, or the nuts clean so i spray everything else as black but every single nut bolt washer i've cleaned uh, on the wire brush uh, and put back together so that's the 1390 overhead valve hillman minx 1955 mark 8 up and running uh, and hope to get back in the car in the next couple of weeks uh, and finish off gearbox however was a different kettle of fish uh, i found that quite tricky to do um not done many gearboxes in my life that probably would explain why but cut a long story short, cleaned it all out. Same with this one. All the bearings have been replaced, gaskets, seals, um, and put back together. I had to place one synchro hub, which is a, is a bit of a long story too. Um, but I'm pleased to say it's all back in and I can select all four gears, including reverse. 
so that again has all got to go back in um, in the next couple of weeks or so. So that's my little story of my little hill and minx. Um, hope you found it useful or interesting. There's some other little, there's the air filter and things that will all go back on. Um, but that's it for now. Cheers.